We should get going. Hightown hides its worst elements very well. The things people keep behind locked doors. Don't make eye contact with the dwarf merchants here. I've skipped the last five guild meetings. You're the captain of the Blondie, guild. Blondie, I don't mean to sound critical, but have you considered a new line of work? You're quite... Such as? Pretty much anything. I don't think Renegade Mage has a bright future. Or any retirement plan. Do you really need me along for this? You want daggers? Got them too? Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Valor Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I enjoy listening to you talk. And I enjoy a man willing to speak his mind. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. I thought Denarius considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. He was relieved to see you'd survived, right? Relieved to see his investment hadn't ended up in Kunari hands, perhaps. I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned, and this... this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran, and never looked back. Couldn't you have found other fog warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt... unworthy. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. 
I simply had to get away. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south, chased by my former master every step of the way. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. How well did you know these fog warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me, unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest, but by then, I was already gone. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. You and I don't always agree, but... But? I... have never allowed anyone too close. When my markings were created, the pain was... extraordinary, and the memory lingers. But you are a man unlike any other, Hawk. With you, it might be different. We could find out. On another evening, perhaps. A last toast, then. To the Fallen. That's strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. And not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. More! You lazy son of a bitch! What's taking so long? Flora? 
Why does no one in this house care what I want? More wine, or I swear I will drown you in the dregs. She doesn't even see us. This is no normal wine. More logs. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me. should be the one. We must end this madness. I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No. The feather. Use the feather. Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. You know what they... ...say about a man with big hands. You know I don't want to do that. About a man with big hands. You know what they say about a man with big hands.
Turn back. There is nothing here for you. We just want to know what's happening. You shall not enter. We must see what greater evil they were protecting. A ruin? So close to Hightown? I remember no such thing. In the shadows, more of them! Let's finish this!
I'll pass. Haven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the prince's seat, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silvers standard for a whore. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You and Lady Harriman are fighting for the same thing, aren't you? Regaining my birthright is hardly the same as stealing it from another. But you want it. You had resigned yourself to letting your brother rule. Yet now, that seat glitters before you. You've always wanted it. You needn't deny it any longer. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way.
us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know Mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The Desire Demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly mage-friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Every despot starts somewhere. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due.
So you're two people. Anders and... Justice. That's not strictly accurate. But you are of two minds. Many people are. Now you're the one not being accurate. I thought those were the rules of this game. I never know who I'm talking to with you. Then it's fortunate it doesn't occur often. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demons touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will. At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. Killing a few hundred more bandits ought to help you make up your mind. You do have a unique way of working out your inner struggles, Hawk. Enough of this. I will make no decision today. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company mercenaries had it. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the eyeslit of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them, to save them. I know. You're a true friend, Hawk. You brought me this to remember and honor them. But if I could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half, I'd do it without regrets.
children. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? That belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the Maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. <laughs> 